Hello everyone, my name is Shelby and my life is a little crazy right now. Basically, our school is kicking us off campus. They aren't kicking us off campus, but they're advising that we strongly, they strongly advise us to leave, basically. There has been speculation going around that there is a case of the COVID-19 on our campus and there has been several kids that have been asked to quarantine themselves. So last night at 11.30 p.m. we got a message saying that all facilities would be closed um, effectively at 11.59 starting immediately. So we had 30 minutes to basically prepare ourselves and go get everything that we could so like food, I don't even know what kids bought. Kids ran to the store because we have like a declining balance and you need to spend that money or else you'll never get it back. And like for me, I have $600 on there. So it's really hard for some students that have to stay on campus, but there's going to be no food available for them. So they had to run to the store and spend the rest of their DB so that it wasn't going to waste and so that they could feed themselves because a lot of them don't have any other means to get anywhere. Luckily for me, I have a car, so I'm going to be going home. So I made the decision to pack up everything and go home and continue my online classes there. I know a lot of other students are in the same position as me right now, and I have it so much better than other students like some students can't even come back into the United States right now so I'm not saying that I'm upset I'm upset for the students like the seniors that aren't getting a proper semester and they aren't getting those traditions that they've waited so long for and I'm sad for the international students that don't have flights back home and they can't afford that and they already bought their plane ticket for a later date and now they're stuck here so thankfully I live in the same state where I go to college so I will be going home and I have a car so I can drive I just wanted to once again vlog my experience of me moving out a whole two months early so come with me we're gonna go to Target and I'm gonna go buy some bins that I can start packing up my room because I have a lot of stuff and I'm scared so yeah let's go hello everybody I decided it would be better if I gave bins to my sister instead of just giving her my stuff because she wouldn't take care of it the way I would like her to, so if it's in bins, I know that it will be safe over the summer in a hot garage. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm getting more for her. And yeah, I'll show you guys what the inside of Target looks like right now in a pandemic. This target is so weirdly shaped. Nothing is where it's supposed to be because everything is sold out. So, or maybe they. Oh, I found them. I found the bins. At first, I thought they sold out of bins, but I, they did not. So, I found them. Here they are. Yes. Okay. So, I have these ones now, but I think they're a little too small. So, we're going to see what I get. So I got a blue cart, my bins. This is the stuff in the hallway that I packed last night that I'm taking to me, with me to my house. And then I have more over here. The bathroom has not been touched yet, but this is my room right now. And it is actually insane how messy it is. Like it's literally disgusting at this point, but I started on my closet and yeah, it's very crazy. I have all these hangers up here. My desk is a mess, my bed's a mess, like everything is just crazy. So I need to like clean it a little and then start putting things in that blue bin to go to my sister's and then all this is going in my car. Woof. <laughs>
literally the worst because I haven't vlogged a lot, but that's just because it's been so crazy. We just got another email saying by tomorrow we have to leave. Like there's no one that can stay on campus, even the international students can't. So now I have to just like pack all my stuff like really fast because I'm trying to get out of here and all of that and I just feel so bad for the international students because I don't know what's gonna happen to them and I have a few friends and I'm scared for them I moved everything that was staying at my sister's house because she lives in Boynton and my school's in Fort Lauderdale so like I just like use her house as like a storage it, everything that's gonna stay there is gonna stay there I'm gonna get it in August but then everything I'm taking home I have to put in my car and I kind of packed up my car I have a few things left that I have to do so my room my room does look a little better now. Um, I took the bedding off. I emptied out the drawers. And then I took all my shoes out. This is my laundry. I'm just going to throw it in my car. My fridge is not empty, but like the drawers down there are empty where I hold my food. This is my desk. My window. I'm going to miss it so much. My closet is 100% empty. Ta-da. That was major. And yeah, just some bags on the floor. Out here, I have my blue cart. All my roommates are gone. And then I'm using this shelf right now. The microwave's not mine. Like, none of that stuff is mine. I didn't bring it, but that's my roommates. Uh, I have an extra bin I need to put in my car, my stick. And this is the bathroom. All the drawers are empty. And then this is the trash. So we have a little bit left to do. And I will film the rest that I can. I'm also going to have to come back on April 17th to move my fridge, the rug, and this shoe rack, and the chair, and the vacuum because my sister couldn't get her fiance to come and he has a really big car. So on April 17th when we come back, I'm going to get the rest of my stuff. But right now I'm just moving all the small things into her house that could fit in her car and everything that I'm taking home with me. So yeah. Okay guys, I finally did it. My room is all cleaned out, moved out because I have to come back in about a month and move my fridge, my rug, my chair, my foot uh, shoe organizer, that thing, and my cleaning vacuum and mop out. That is my bedding and I'm leaving it here in case like when I come back I have to stay the night because the night we are allowed to come back is finals. So in case I have like two back-to-back -back finals, I'm just leaving my bedding here. Um, that bin is stuff that needs to go with my sisters that I forgot about. And then my fridge is now empty. I don't want to necessarily unplug it because then all the water will come out of it. So I think I'm just gonna leave it plugged in for now. I know that's kind of bad, wasting energy, but it's okay. And yeah, my closet is all empty now. There's nothing in here on the walls and this also has to be brought to my sisters but i'm leaving it in here for now there's just a keychain it's all empty my purse is of course coming with me and this is everything i'm taking down to my car it's not a lot i really thought it was gonna be more but this is it so i have all that there's nothing in here i'm gonna throw those towels out and then this is all my roommate's stuff. I'm not touching that. And then in the bathroom, it's all done. This is the trash. It's gotten bigger. And yeah, that's my roommate's things. That's more my roommate's stuff. So I'm going to go down to my car, load it up, and then I will see you guys when I'm on the road. Let's go. Bye bathroom. My stuff is all in here. My pea plant for my extra credit is all ready to go. And I will see my dorm another day, but for now I am leaving. So that took me roughly around six hours to do. So if you're moving out of your dorm, just give yourself enough time because you're gonna need it. Alrighty guys, so this is my car packed all the way to the top. You can't even see how much is in the back right now. This is my passenger seat. Crazy that I had to move out a whole two months early, but you know, I'm trying to be safe. The safest way I can be is just to leave the campus right now because the number went up of confirmed cases. We have six now. 
because there's a group of students that went to Ireland. So it's great if you guys want to hear that experience, how it's like moving out. If you guys want a story time, just comment below. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Thank you for this awesome journey so far of my freshman year. This isn't the last time I'm going to be back on campus, but it's the last time I'm going to be with all my stuff. So just thank you guys for everything. And thank you to Nova for giving me a great freshman year. I made an, a little video on my Instagram. If you guys want to go check that out, it's shell.b and it's spelled out like a shell, like a seashell and a bee, like a bumblebee. So the link will also be in the description below. But yeah, thank you so much to Nova, you guys, and for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below. Bye, guys.